Greetings and blessings, everybody. My name is Tom Lelio with My OSC Church. We are inspiring healthy ministries, one simple change at a time. Check us out at myosc.net forward slash church. And we're going to be sharing three skills that are necessary to help you invite your students to an event and get them to actually come. Skill number one is recognizing that it is actually a skill. Students coming to your events, is not they're not a natural resource, okay? So you can't just sit down and make a list. You have to have this first skill. And that first skill is what are your words? What's your script? What are you going to say to them? How are you going to invite them to your actual event? You got to develop that skill of being able to talk to students and not just saying, hey, we have a youth group coming up on Sunday and there's going to be pizza there. Do you want to come? Because if somebody just like randomly called you, right? And was like, hey, I'm having pizza on Sunday night. Would you like to come? Would you go to that event? No. So you got to know exactly what you want to say to the students when you call them, uh, how you're going to respond when they're like, well, who's going? Or how you're going to respond when they're like, oh, I think I have something else going on or I'm not sure. Like you want to be able to kind of direct the conversation to help them make a decision that you know is in their best interest and that's for them to come to your event. So number tip, skill number one, words and scripts. Skill number two is uh, building relationships. Dig your well before you're thirsty. So make sure that you're always talking to kids. Make sure you're always affirming your students. Make sure that you're always mindful of the students in your ministry and you are you are giving value to their lives on a regular basis so that when you want to ask them to come to your event they're like yeah sure no problem I'll be happy to do that because I I, I know that you you have what you, you have my best interest at heart so that's very important always be digging your well before you're thirsty always be investing into your students so that when you actually invite them they're like yeah I know Tom like of course I want to go I want to help him out I want to be a part of this ministry so that's a skill because I think too many times we get focused, uh, we develop our skills of how to present our message or you know how to do these things, but we don't take the time to invest in the skill of how do we maintain relationships with students by affirming them, by asking them questions, by inter being interested in their lives. So skill number two, building relationships. Skill number three, we wanna talk about every student that you come in contact with, get their contact information. Okay, because you're going to come in contact with students that you don't have on your parish database. It could be friends of students. Get their contact information and then creatively find a way to stay in touch. You know, find out more about them when you're talking with them. And if you find out that they're going to have a, a, a band event or something coming up later that weekend, maybe you shoot them a text message or you shoot them a Facebook message and say, hey, you know, how'd that band event go? You know, and just stay creatively in touch and remember things about students. Use note. Use a notes app if you have to, uh, whatever it is, but get contact information and get creative and staying in touch. So I think a lot of times we think staying in touch means calling them. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? No, it doesn't have to be that. It could be as simple as, you know, even when you're giving your message, you give a shout out to a student and say, yeah, it's, it's it, you guys are awesome. Just like, hey, what's up? You're like, while you're talking, say, yeah, it's just like Billy over here. That way you're kind of like connecting with him. He's like, oh, he knows my name. What's going on? Um, so find people's contact information and find creative ways to stay in touch with them. And so uh, here's the challenge. There's, there's, there's pretty much two challenges when it comes to developing this skill. Uh, number one, some of us, when we first go out to invite students and encourage students to come, we're going to get punished. And what I mean by that is you're not, if you're not the kind of person that has been already doing this and has already been giving to your students and providing value to other people, people are going to look at you and be like, what's in it for you? Why are you talking to me? What, what, what's like, what's your deal? And so we have to be able to push past that. Some of us have already been very, you know, uh, encouraging to other people. And so when we ask them, they're like, yeah, sure. We'd love to help. I'd love to come. But, uh, some of us, we might get punished for that. But my, what I want, I'm telling you that upfront because you can change that. Okay. And the way you change it is that by not keeping score, you always provide value to someone despite whether or not they're going to uh, reciprocate that. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, Jesus said that, I think, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he said that. Uh, so that's your first challenge is that some people are going to get punished and some people are going to get rewarded depending on how you've been living your life lately. Uh, and number two, if you're introverted, all this goes for you. Okay. I'm sorry, but when it comes to ministry, it comes to serving other people. This is not about you. This is about them. And you have something special for these students. You have the word of God. You have uh, the sacraments. You have this youth ministry event that's for them. It is selfish of you to not share that message. 
I, it doesn't matter if you're introverted or not. It is selfish of you to not share this. And especially if you're extroverted, it's like extra selfish of you to not share this with other people because you already have the, the, the charism and you already have the ability and the, and the desire to go out and tell people about this. If you don't do that, then you are even more like accountable. So um, get out there, share this message because if we don't share the invitation, uh, it's selfish of us. If we don't share it because we're uncomfortable for whatever reason, it's unselfish uh, of us. So, um, and then lastly, why would you want to do this? Well, when you develop this skill and help your church ministry grow, help your church ministry get healthier, uh, you're going to have more friends. You're going to have more fun because you're going to be out there sharing what you're so passionate about. If you're in ministry, you have to be passionate about the gospel. You have to be passionate about what you're doing. And the more you can spread that passion, the more fun you're going to have. Because the more people you're going to be bringing closer to God. And that is the ultimate goal. So that's the big why. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to go out there and learn and develop the skill of inviting people and finding people? Uh, because it's what we're called to do. And it's what we're passionate about. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. My name is Tom Lelio from My OSC Church. Go to myosc.net forward slash church. Check it out. We have a OSC is one simple change to help your ministry get healthier, get stronger. Appreciate you following us on Periscope, on Twitter, at Tom Lelio, and I will catch you guys later. God bless.